Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kemzit. We're gonna continue on with the Republic of Genoa in a mission for Ducat and Genovino on Pon Erko Cabby's request. Now, uh, reconquest of Constantinople in the year 2000, I mean 1260 between the year 1261. <clears throat> Ally, Empire of Nicaea, Anatolia, and Europe, Neutral Bulgarians, Latin Empire is our enemy, Duchy of Athens is our enemy, Enemy uh, Principality of Achia, Republic of Venice as well. Finally, we're gonna meet these bastards. <coughs> Ducatos, the first issue of Skypath. Uh, Skypath, uh, Billon coins modeled on Byzantine Trachea, was made by King Roger II of Sicily in 13th century. Venice modeled the size and weight of their ducat on Florentine florin, and it contained 99.47% of fine gold and became the production with the highest purity of medieval metallurgy. Genovino was the gold coin used in the Republic of Genoa since the 13th century, shortly before Florence and Venice. <clears throat> Confined to the Western Mediterranean trade alone is not enough to let the Genoetian Republic commerce flourish. On the other side of the Italian peninsula, the Republic of Venice also among the first of, uh, to become this, a supreme maritime trade nation had already sailed its huge trading fleet and Calais warships to the more distant and mysterious east, or drove the Ganoetian merchant and troops to fly the flag of St. George on the islands of the Aegean Sea. Can you see the breathtaking city walls that Constantinople, the ancient capital of centuries of prosperity on the edge of Europe? It was clear, very clear, very clear. I said without hesitation, even though my eyes could not see anything, the walls of Constantinople were still very clear reflected in my eyes. Enrico Dandolo remembered his name. Soon you will be surprised by hearing it as it is known for Venice, from Venice to Constantinople. Such trivialities as Pope excommunicated excommunicated of the Venetians do not interest me at all. Now I just need to uh, need, it, need the crusaders on the Venetian warships, sack Constantinople, pay off their debts and then fill our pockets with golds, which would not let a Venetian citizen give up their choice of gold and run to keep the, uh, to keep the church. Okay. So what is this? What's gonna happen? Tell us. Who's this Dondolo dude? Get around, I guess. Ha! <laughs> this gust of sea air, its fresh scent of gold coins. Haha! <laughs> Hoist the sails, the gold goose is just ahead of us. Okay. Also, there's a relic here. Uh, can I get it? No, there's no here. We're here not just assisting the emperor of his for his recovery. We must establish a foothold in AGC for our commerce. And sink the Venetian fleets to the bottom of the sea. They made me could. Uh, they made me could not make money here. Okay, Latin Empire. Let's just go there then. Wait, what is this? Okay. Uh, what do we have to do? Construct a town, send up at least three fortresses to strengthen the Venetian uh, commercial position in the Aegean Sea, surpass the Venetians in terms of trade income, benefit the Venetian trade units by increasing efficiency by 50%. Per if the Venetian income is more than uh, the Venetians, the trade efficiency will set the default at 100%. Prevent Nikkei from being defeated in Europe and declare a victory. <clears throat> so that's what we have to do. Uh, Nikians. So Nikians is the empire of these dudes, and we have to be, declare victory. Okay. Uh, the Ganesian is limited to a population limit of 200, but they can advance to the imperial age. Explore Anatolia for resources as soon as possible, though food may become an issue later when your fishing will be under Venetian threat. Tower defense and coastal uh, coastal line is advised to keep your food income safe. It is not necessary to defeat all Latin vessels and Venetians, though the Venetian fleet will keep harassing your ships annoyingly. However, defeating the Venetians is not currently a main objective for Genoesia. Uh, Genoese, you can still defeat them from a permanent trade efficiency bonus. Worrying about building col uh, building collapsing with the city walls of Constantinople. Once it is reconquered by the Nikian Emperor, the city will be rebuilt. 
You can neglect the battle between Nicaea and Latin vessels in the region of Greece, but you can construct a second base in Europe and provide uh, providing assistance of the Byzantines always benefit the Canoeans' march in sea. Uh, the with the alliance between the Nikian and the Ganoetians, the Ganoetian fleets and mercenaries are sailing into the Aegean Sea to establish more commercial spots and fortifications for the in incoming clashes between Greek and Latin vessels, as well as Venetians who support the Latin Empire. Emperor of Nikia holds several fortresses and bases in Anatolia and parts of Greece. The conflict between Byzantines and Latins has been going on for decades now. The Empire of Nikia attempt to reconquer the city of Constantinople and restore Byzantian Empire. However, the foothold in the region of Greece has, resi has resisted the threats of the Latin vessels. The city of Constantinople, now owned by the Latin Empire and guarded by some of the Venetian garrisons. Uh, wait, hold on. The Venetian now owned the Latin Empire and guarded by some Venetian. Okay, the city garrisons are formed by horsemen, infantry, and some siege weapons, as well as monks, fed by the Venetian commerce. Besides the Latin vessels, also guarded by the coastline to resist the Nikian Venetian coalition reconquest. The vassals of the Latin Empire, Duchy of Athens and Principality of Achaea, fighting the Nikians in Europe with the powerful cavalry and infantry. Though their attack are quite aggressive, they will make temporary armistice to Nikaea once their respective castle collapse. Republic of Venice has constructed several commerce and military ports and fortresses in the Aegean, far earlier than the Venetian arrival. As the adversary of commerce on sea, the Venetians will try to sink all fleets and burn all harbors of the Venetians at all costs. To again, the Byzantines, the Venetians also supplied Latin soldiers in Constantinople if they have sufficient resources to do so. The Bulgarians to the north always prepare war against the Latin Empire in your border. They have no interest in the conflict between the Byzantines and Latins. Okay. Now my question is then, where should we land and where should we go? Establish a camp, build up your army quickly. The nation, the nation, the nation. Okay, here, right, yeah, we can build it up right away over here. Uh, I should start trading with you guys at once. Where is your market? Oh, wait, what? There? Honestly? Wow. Land. Go. Impero Ago Sane Impero Condo Okay, hold on. Uh, a new visitor comes, but it seems our guests are not willing to get along with us here. I can feel their full unsatisfaction on their face when they look at our invincible fleets here. Screw you, dude. They're not invincible. Right, we need some more wood because we want to get a lot of food as soon as possible. Blast. More wood, please. Oh wait, no. Alright, let's go. Okay, right. We're still at the castle, which that's not good. Oh, blast. Um, here. So, what did he say? Uh, we cannot just build fortresses and defenses, we have to break a monopoly on Phoenician merchants in the Aegean with our own powerful commercial system here. Okay, right. Uh, these are just enemy Franks, etc. Oh, yeah, by the way, I want to build up some more things here as quick as possible. For example, a nice church will be nice. Last quickly. Ay, 
Oh great. Here they come already. Bastards. Burn him! Oh no. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh no, oh no, 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 go back. Oh shit. Move on here, we need to help them as soon as possible. Quickly. Upgrade to the next stage here, oh god. Destroy them quickly. We need to also upgrade more things, uh, ships, etc. Blah blah blah. Right. Well, we need to also make some more villages here. Come on, keep going. Now we have helped our allies here. They're kind of safe a little bit. We also need to make some more ships as well quickly. I'm gonna keep these men over here so they are safe. Why did they build it so closely? What the hell? <coughs> I should right away try to improve this. Here. This helps us greatly. Soon enough I'll be able to make cannons and stop them a bit. But ah uh, no, I cannot make cannons. Shit. Too bad. Um well yeah, right. Um we'll just do this then. Oh god. Die, you bastards! Blast. Get out of here. Salve, 
Right. Keep it going, boys. Taste that, you bastard! Ah, 
another dock has been destroyed. Good. Let's keep on going, boys. I don't need more houses, alright. Let's see if it helps, because I don't think so. Oh, blast no. Ein. 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 Ein.
<coughs> Keep going, boys. I think I found the uh, main base of them as here. Destroying that should help me from being free of God. From their annoying presence. Great. Keep sending some more men. You're gonna need them. Ah, get out of here. Man, oh man, we really need more wood. Uh, I mean, gold. Ah, 
Let's blast our armies away. Good. Wait, the Bulgarians? Why do they... Yeah, whatever. Blast, fall back. We're losing ground here. 
I need to remake my army here quickly. Come on, boys. Lol. That's why they're a bit weak. Good. Keep going, we're nearly pushing through. I 
Well done, man. Open the doors, boys. Come on. Chips, press on. Wonderful. Now with that naval support here gone, I should be able to move on forward. Yeah, the enemy is also coming with more ships towards my land, so I should retreat.
No, there we go. Good, this should be nearly done for. Yes! Letting down is no more now constantly belongs to me and Nakia is the only legitimate successor state of Byzantine. Abandon all the Latin customs, indeed. And we've also got the achievement. The Venetian has been temporarily repulsed and the Emperor of Nakia has reconquered Constantinople. Our commerce has been established and sealed, scaled up, but my pockets never say enough. Of course. Victory! After the sack of Crusaders and the half century long domination of Latin culture, Constantinople was restored to its former prosperity under the Byzantine Empire under the march of Mikhail the whatever. The Latin Empire, on the other hand, has since been permanently erased from the shores of the Aegean Sea. The Aegean Sea comes with a truce sired by the Byzantines. Venetians, Ganusians, the flag of St. George begins to spread around the ocean and planted on the corner of Constantinople. The sea routes leading to the Black Sea was no longer only Venetian, but more merchants, fleets and mercenaries from Genoa set foot on the eastern lands on the border between Europe and Asia. Did you see that? Not far from there is Constantinople. Now our fleet can pass through the unhindered, here unhindered, and no longer have to frown at those damned Venetians. The Venetians dominate over the maritime commerce and Black Sea ends. I hear that the Venetians had made their colonies rich with the business done with the Mongols. But now it is time for our Genuitian to have a piece of Crimea. Now, also, we've got another progress on the chemistry thingy of the event. But we can definitely see that the Venetians are nearly done. If I could have destroyed those um, shipyards over here, we would have been pretty much done with defending our lands against these invasions. We can also see that the Venetians have a little bit of hold over here. Their uh, trade didn't, you know, succeed too good. And we've protected our ally very well. We could have also tried to push for Principality of Athens and Duchy of Athens. But um, whatever, really, we've done perfectly fine. It is strange that the Bulgarians didn't want to ally us. And there was a relic over here which you could have captured. And there's a relic over here as well. But it would have taken quite a long time for us to finish this mission as well. We could have done it, but it wasn't really necessary, especially the secondary objectives. Um, but yeah, you know, we have done pretty much. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, this is not Athenians, these are the Aegeans. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys could have taken the uh, relics as well and get more stronger too. But there's only three so far I can see, unless there's more taken. No, not really. Well, apart from one over here, I think that will be in total of five or four. But uh, whatever, we've really done it nicely. We could have also done it a bit more quicker, but it was really a bit difficult because these blue buys, um, I mean, not blue, the, um, how should I say, the Latin Empire was really creating quite a lot of troops quite quickly with a few buildings. So I think their speed up of their technology is quite fast. They had a few stables here too, but whatever, we've done it. So um, it's nicely done, nice mission. A bit of struggle, but we've done it. Nonetheless, the next mission will be Mission 5, the Ambitions under the St. George Cross. So for now, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you support it. Do you want to recommend something in the good game together that's possible as well? Just write down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chit chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video.